CBS 13 investigation found evidence of builders all across California getting away with making home repairs without getting permits. And that, of course, means nobody's inspecting their work. We call on Curtis Ming to explain why that puts homeowners' safety and even their property values at risk. It really does. Earlier this month, we brought you the evidence. Weak building codes and substandard construction are putting homes at risk. And now it appears some builders may be quietly ignoring the law to patch their problems. At first glance, this neighborhood on San Pablo Bay looks peaceful. But look closer, and you could see signs of trouble. Some of those signs seem small. This flashing is required to go four inches over the tile. But the problems quickly become the kind that could make your jaw drop. The next issue I saw was that the tiles weren't nailed. Jeff Lauren works for Affiliated Professional Services. APS is an El Dorado County company that does independent code and construction inspections. This tile should be nailed. This was our home. <laughs> Nurse Tamara O'Connor and her family have moved out of this house twice now since they bought it new in 1999 for major repairs, including the replacement of windows and interior and exterior walls. But somehow, the water keeps finding its way in. And underneath another window. We have significant water damage, water staining. Tamara says her family loves life in the place surrounded by beauty as far as they can see. It's what they couldn't see that has driven them out. Subcontractors have since told me that there was mold remediation and that they billed for it, that the developer paid for it, but they never disclosed it to us. In the meantime, something made Tamara and her husband seriously sick. Well, my husband missed months of work. I missed about eight weeks. APS identifies standard window, construction problems, window, but they're also developing a theory that wind exposure makes many of those problems worse. The theory says heavy and sustained winds can rattle a home until its individual pieces, like doors and windows, come loose and break their seals. Water gets in, mold forms. And again, more staining. Jeff Lauren so says that seems to be part of what happened to Tamara's home, but he says something else is going on here. This house is designed to what's called wind exposure C. That's different from much of Northern California because it's supposed to withstand stronger sustained winds coming across wide open spaces like these hills and wetlands. It's also in what's known as seismic zone four, so it's designed to handle earthquakes too. So what's happening here? This framing member here, according to the plans, is to be a four by six. It's currently a four by four. Framing that doesn't follow the plans. Loosely installed earthquake tie downs, missing tie downs. There's supposed to be another one on this post somewhere, and there is not one. Add things like that to those unattached roof tiles, inadequate flashing, and Jeff's boss, Bill Thomas, says you have an alarming industry practice. The builders call it value engineering. Before they start building homes, they get all their engineers together and say, hey, how can we save money um, on these houses? Where can we um, cut corners, if you want to look at it that way? APS has found this kind of work and developments from Las Vegas to Nevada and right near their business in El Dorado County. These homes in the Stonebriar subdivision in El Dorado Hills show what dozens of homeowners there deal with, some of them every single year. APS claims a pattern of substandard construction here, similar to what they found in Tamara O'Connor's Marin County home. And we found what appears to be another pattern with these homes. The builders, in many cases, are making their own repairs, sometimes as many as five times in five years. But it doesn't appear they're getting any county construction permits to do any of the work. We checked a half dozen addresses in Stonebriar where we saw construction underway. Several homeowners told us their homes have undergone annual major repairs. But out of the six homes, we found a total of just two permits for repair work. Neither of them were pulled by the builder, William Lyon. State and local laws require those permits. We checked again with the owners of two other Stonebriar homes. One is being repaired because of extensive leaks. The other for a crazy quilt of cracks in nearly all the stucco surfaces. They'd never seen a permit either. We found similar work at a D.R. Horton site in Sacramento County's Empire Ranch. And when Tamara O'Connor checked with Marin County, she found nothing but the original permit pulled by the builder, Lennar Homes. We couldn't find anything else either. Now, betting officials in El Dorado and Marin County say doing this kind of work without a permit means there's no official inspection. And unpermitted work can save builders time and money but creates serious disclosure problems for owners when they sell. Lennar says its contractors are expected to get permits when they are required. 
William Lyon did not return our call. And if you have a consumer problem you'd like me to investigate, let me know. Call the hotline or go to CBS13.com, click on Call Curtis, and send me an email.